Harry's Wife, Part 103.1 Total Plank The Ridicule Increases Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Many people have identified the hypocrisy of Harry's wife. Her attempts to row back on her appearance on Deal or No Deal, claiming that she was objectified, isn't cutting the mustard, really, with anyone apart from the brain-dead sugars. People are, in effect, queuing up to stick the boot in because it's such an easy opportunity to do so with regard to Harry's wife. And one particular television programme, Talk TV, has seen fit to join in. What is Talk TV? Well, a little bit of background would be useful. It's a British television channel owned and operated by News UK, and it launched on the 25th of April of this year. The channel features video simulcasts of talk radio programming in off-peak hours, but launched with three original programmes. The News Desk, Piers Morgan Uncensored, for it is he, and The Talk. And you're going to see some video footage from The Talk in a moment. Australian-born American media magnate Rupert Murdoch, the digger, originally entered the British television news market in 1989 with the launch of Sky News. In 1996, Murdoch entered the US and Australian television news markets with Fox News and Sky News Australia. In the 2010s, the Murdoch family began to sell a number of assets, including 21st Century Fox and Sky PLC, the companies that owned those news channels at that time. In January 2018, the Competition and Markets Authority issued a preliminary report recommending that Sky News be insulated from the remainder of Murdoch's assets or divested in order to preserve its editorial independence. Murdoch retained control of Fox News and Sky News Australia, but Sky News UK was sold to Comcast, leaving Murdoch without a television news presence in the United Kingdom. In December 2020, Ofcom granted a license to News UK to operate a new linear television channel under the name News UK TV. By April 2021, it was thought that News UK TV would become a streaming-only service which would operate for a few hours a night. Rebecca Brooks, who is a key individual at the organisation, said to News UK staff that it was not commercially viable to launch a traditional news channel on linear TV. The channel broadcasts from studios within the news building in central London. And notable presenters that have appeared are Nick Dubois, Ian Collins, Mike Graham, Piers Morgan, Rob Rinder, Sharon Osborne, Vanessa Feltz, Trisha Goddard, Jeremy Kyle, Kate McCann, Daryl Morris, Mark Seggers, many of these names being pretty well known to British audiences, perhaps less so to the rest of you listening. But the point is, this is a new television channel, and as part of its programming, it has a show called The Talk, which naturally is about talking about issues of the day. And Harry's wife popped up on this. Unfortunately for her, they have a segment called Plank of the Week, and she was designated as Plank. Some of you might not be familiar with what a plank is, and I don't mean a plank of wood that you would use in construction. The British slang term for an individual whose mental capacity is similar in aptitude to a piece of wood gets known as a plank. So, do these guys know what they're talking about? No, they're a bunch of fucking planks. It's an insult. It means you're dim and stupid. And therefore... To be described as Plank of the Week is certainly not anything to be proud of. It's challenge fuel for Harry's wife, but moreover it demonstrates the increasing boldness of individuals to call out her ridiculous behaviour. You can now listen to five people discussing her, none of which defend her, all of which keep sticking the boot in, in terms of criticism and -and out-and-out insult. Here's the footage. And she says she was forced to resemble and look like and feel like 
a bimbo. Mm. Even though no one had a gun to her head. An ideal job for her then. She wasn't trafficked. No, no, one, no one put a gun to her head. She did it yeah. for her own free will. No acting required. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. She fitted into the role really, really well. Um, so she's done it for her own free will, as, presumably as a stepping stone to the greater fame. Of we all know that she was uh, what she was after. Um, but now she's playing the victim. Yes. Yet again. Well, do you know, I was watching uh, Piers Morgan's show the other night and he had a, a guest whose name I forget, but it was in America who said, you know, the great thing about Megan is, is that everything that happens to her is just catastrophic, it's awful, you know, it's not like it was an uncomfortable situation, mm. it was just terrible, you know, it was like the worst thing that could have ever happened, but you know how that bad she it got was? paid to do this. How bad it was is that she suffered it for 36 shows, so it must have been awful oh, for yeah. her to keep going back 36 times. They shoot times. like oh, two, right. three shows a day, so right, 12 times then. That's quite a lot of times then. And you've but got more in common with her than you think, you're both where you are because of your looks. Yeah. Thank you, you can get that's an important well, that's point, kind. because actually, she does, she does trade on her looks. She does. So to say so now do I. that... There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and, and actually, to be fair, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying there is anything wrong with it. What's really complicated is the Queen's death. It's the fact that she's got this quite complicated attitude towards looks and feminism. She did go into that eyes wide open. She did trade on her looks. And now to try and row back yes. and say she was treated like a bimbo, it just isn't an honest assessment of but, what she was she doing. She also knows if she tried to get a job in show business based on her intellect, she wouldn't have got a job. Nowhere to hide for Harry's wife in that, was there? Nobody defending her. The initial uh, individual saying that she claims she was forced to be a bimbo, but nobody had a gun to her head, uncovering, of course, the hypocrisy of her conduct, saying she wasn't trafficked. And then, of course, the observations made that no acting was required, and so somebody uh, wryly observes, well, she fitted into the role really well, which demonstrates that people think that she's a terrible actress also. Comment was added that it was seen as a potentially a stepping stone to the fame that she desired, but instead she's now playing the victim. Of course, as you know, this is driven by her narcissism, which causes her to act with this particular victim mentality. The host notes that everything about her, everything that happens to her, is basically a catastrophe. It's similar to, you've broken a leg, I've broken both my legs. You lost your job, I lost my job, and I was pushed out of a window. Somebody said something nasty to you, well, somebody said nasty, something nasty to me, which caused me to have a complete mental breakdown causing me to contemplate suicide and seek help from people who ignored me. That one-upmanship, whether it's one-upmanship or one-downmanship, if you will, is symptomatic of certain narcissists and is done in order to invalidate what the other person is talking about and bring it back onto the narcissist, thus gaining control and drawing fuel. Interestingly, the observations made, of course, that she suffered all of this for 36 shows, which just demonstrates that what she's saying is errant rubbish. Comment is made, of course, how she trades on her looks, and whilst she's not hideous looking, she's certainly not the most beautiful person in the world, although she thinks she is. The delusions of the somatic narcissist, which I've explained previously. A female contributor to the show explains that Harry's wife has a complicated attitude with regard to looks and feminism, and that she went into this wi eyes wide open, and now they try she's trying to row back on it, and it isn't an honest assessment of what has gone on. All of the contributors are in agreement, men, women, white people, black person, that she is a plank. They are laughing clearly about her, ridiculing her conduct and behaviour, were Harry's wife to see this, this would all be challenged fuel and would, of course, threaten her sense of control, undoubtedly resulting in an ignition of fury. The final parting comment, which basically stamps upon her, is if she tried to get a job in showbiz on intellect, she wouldn't have a job. That demonstrates that so many people see through her, that she isn't bright, that she's not intelligent, although she thinks she is. And the problem for her is that the increasing need to get hold of the prime aims and the way that her narcissism causes to do it is it just keeps demonstrating that she is a total plank. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.